4,000 years ago, in the 8th century, an Indian philosopher, Adi Shankaracharya, was born the son of Shivaguru and Aryampa. He consolidated the doctrine of Advaita Vedanta. He is credited with unifying and establishing the main currents of thoughts in Hinduism. Born in Cochin, Kerala, India, died at the age of 32 in Kedarnak, the present Uttarakhand, India. Quotes, Adi Shankaracharya quotes, when our false perception is corrected, misery ends also. When our false perception is corrected, false perception, the perception of hearing, perception of seeing in the conscious state is corrected. Why it needs correction? Because when we were born, we came without correction proper. Everything was properly came. But as time passed, it was forcefully indoctrinated into our mind. Yes, the bookish knowledge, the borrowed knowledge. When a false person be living like a false, a duplicate, not an originality of us, everything what we talk is remote controlled by somebody else. Hitler said hundred times said a lie becomes a truth. And you have been taught hundred times what the lies came in your media, in your daily newspapers, it has controlled you and you believe those lies were the truth. And hence the false perception, when our false perception is corrected, we have to correct the false perception. How do we correct the false perception? When your cup is dirty, you cannot drink again from the same cup. You cup, you clean your cup. After eating your food, you clean your place. You wash your clothes, you take your bath. Externally, you will be able to clean up. But internally, internally, your pipelines have been blocked. It doesn't block just easily. Before blocking, it gives you a, a cold, a cough, and pipeline keep on blocking and blocking, and you do not know for a smallest cough or a cold, you rush up to your doctors. Your false perception that you need, you want somebody else to be remote controlled. You have been taught, rush up to the doctor. Don't take your own decision. You will die. You are already dead and they are telling you you will die. They already kill you and they are telling you you will die. And you are already dead. You want to walk like a dead body. And you go to the doctor. He keeps on injecting you with poison. The whole pipeline has been blocked with your cold, the cough medicines. And then asthma comes, TB comes, then they call it by diabetes, sugar, your high BP, your heart attack, your cancer. You die, you go down also, they do not, you do not still believe you. The pipelines have been clear, blocked. If the pipelines are blocked, you can clean it up by fasting. But what about the mind? The mind is corroded with so much of borrowed knowledge. Every day when you eat, next day morning when you get there, think, please drink five glasses of water. In the morning, the moment you get up, before you brush your teeth, with the saliva, eight hours when you're sleeping, the body creates a medicine called saliva. You drink along with the saliva five glasses of water and then it flushes out the whole internal system what you ate. But who is flushing out your mind? All the borrowed things are right in the mind. And very next day, with that dirty mind, with that dirty cup, you go and ask for a fresh water to be given. That fresh water and the borrowed um, um, dirty water yesterday, you didn't clean up the cup, becomes poison. You are thinking everything poison. You see everything from your perception of your yellow fever. That needs correction. That needs meditation. How to meditate? By sitting in cross Interlocking your fingers, closing your eyes, you can be no, no, that was not at all. Meditation comes later. When Confucius, the priest, meditated after the age of 80, till then do karma yoga, roar like a thousand man warrior. You have to sweat it out, you have to know, you have to hit your bone, the bone should pain. No pain, 
no gain. When it hurts, give till it hurts, is what the proverb says. And the mind, when you when you enter the house, a simple thing. I will tell you when you enter the house. You have the plants, you are grown. You enter the house without even looking into the plants. The plants are very happy to show the birds. Plants are very happy to show the flowers, the fruits. But you do not even look at them. Your perception of looking, seeing is gone. Perception of hearing is gone. The observation power is gone. Eyes are there, but we cannot see. Yes, are there, but we cannot observe. All those have been blocked because the media, you are interested in the media, you are interested in becoming a slave. A slavery mind is very good, so you can keep on complaining. You are wrong, others are wrong, I am right. Others are wrong, I am right. When you talk, when you enter the house, you talk to the plants, you smell your plants. Yes, the plants will be very happy. It might give you more flowers. It's so happy. You don't even look at the plants. The pet animals in the house come to back your tail. You don't even pet them. You don't even talk to them. You enter the house. When you do not do that, you cannot, you cannot enter the house. When you enter the house, the perception of seeing and hearing and awareness. You are not conscious. You are entering the house unconscious, borrowed mind, full of corroded, borrowed ideas, dirty without cleaning. When you're in the office, do the work in the office. Clean it up when you come to the house. One professor was asking for an interview with the Zen master. Five years he was not given that interview. On the fifth year he got a letter telling, yes, interview day is fixed. You can come and meet me. Professor entered the room and he shut the door behind him and the Zen master said, you shut the door behind you. And there was a sound, you go back and say sorry to the door before we can start the interview. And the professor said, that is the door. It is dead object. It has got nothing to do. I have come with a philosophy. Of course, the master said, no, no, no. You do not know to say sorry to a dead thing. You yourself is dead. How do you start talking to the live? Go say sorry, otherwise my interview is cancelled. Professor was frightened because after five years getting the interview, so he went and said, sorry, he said, not sorry. You must open the door, say sorry, say sorry, and the professor said, sorry. Now slowly, without making noise, keep one more hand on the door, and the other hand, pull the handle, slowly, without noise, without noise, close the door. I see everyone shutting the door, throwing massive, you are mad people directly from the Nimes. And when you cannot talk to the plants, you cannot talk to the pet animals, you cannot even talk to your door, you knock the door, bang the door, you scream at your wife, enter the house, perception of seeing. Yeah, when you see your wife, as you enter your house, you see your father and mother, you look right into the eyes of the father and mother or wife or the daughter or child, right into the eyes, the eyes looks at you and you both start singing a duet. Like Pandit Rivi Shanturji, what he's doing. Wow, he looks right into the desire, right into his daughter. And then they both look at each other. Wow. And then the beauty of that uh, talk, beauty of the song is so powerful. And then when you talk, there is a love. When our false perception is correct, when you correct that, misery ends. Others, misery is going on. You are living in pain. You are living in pain. And it's a cancerous pain. And you blame everybody except you. Let's correct it right in the house. Love the wife. Love the mother and father, grandfather. With that, automatically you can find the family straight corrected. Your love. Just listen when the child goes to the school. You, dear, you insist that the teachers teach the children in the school. You insist that the child doesn't study, you send him to the uh, tuition master. Did you listen to your child? Did you listen to your wife? Did you listen to your people? Listening is very important. Yes. You've not been able to even understand, to give a hearing. Most of the psychological problems, the psychologists would first listen, they said. When you listen, half the psychological problems are gone. When our false perception is corrected, misery ends also. Misery ends immediately. Misery is continuing and everybody is happy. You are given a pigeon hole for one low crore, five crore. And when the coronavirus came, you couldn't, you couldn't even allow you outside. 
previously also your false perception made you a slave made you uh, uh, they made you put in a jail and you are thinking inside the jail they're controlling and i'm great no 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 you saw no no they couldn't go to the office your ac rooms have become a nobody back into your village back into 50 kilometers away if you have um, built up a small uh, land you could have entered the sunlight the rain water harvesting rain doesn't come there like that you the perception of hearing and smelling is lost the rain is coming it comes before before it comes it gives you a little lightning and thunder telling get ready and you were not ready even to you went to uh, uh, you went to um, welcome them welcome the rain water with the uh, with the uh, trenches and the uh, bore well bore well and the well and the uh, and the rain water stays the drains have been cleaned the sunlight you accept the sunlight the solar has been built up this is what Sankara, Adi Shankaracharya is. When our false perception is corrected, I many people call me and say, Guruji, you are you are in high pitch talking. What can I do? People's ears have become corroded. They can't hear. I have to scream at the top of my voice on the rooftop. Hence, I use this style. I only talk very really softly, very nicely, but who nobody will be able to understand. Uh, my only idea is to provoke till you respond. I am provoking you to tell you are having a false perception. The false perception helping the political leaders, helping the business community, to, religious leaders to make you a nobody. And they made you a nobody. You are living dead and you are thinking you are alive. <laughs> Adi Shankaracharya. The 8th century Indian philosopher said, when our false perception is corrected, misery ends also. Correct your false perception. <laughs> misery ends. The first misery, uh, false perception, create your love. The love, when the love is there, first enter the house. Love. Hug your child close to your heart. Hug anything and everything in the house, from your child, from the baby, keep hug. do not escape from that hugging. People are telling, hugging is wrong, discharge and forget about that. The hug in the house is very, very, including the trees, the pets, the animals, the plants. False perception is corrected, misery ends. This is the 57th short discourses. Thank you for being with me. It will be loaded by 5 o'clock. Watch. Uh, in the social media between 5 and 6. God bless.